Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do complete chapter of geometry for class 3. In this chapter, we are going to discuss each and every concept related to geometry. So make sure you watch the entire video. But before starting with this chapter, let me tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 3 mathematics. We also have interesting worksheets and quizzes for each chapter. You can find all of them on our channel Learning Notebook. Also, you can see a list of all such videos on our website. The link to our website is below in the description box. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First topic is point, line and line segment. Then we will understand what is they, different types of lines, measuring line segment and how to draw a line segment. Then we will learn about plane shapes that is triangle, quadrilateral, rectangle, square and circle. After that we will understand solid shapes and in the end I will give you a worksheet on geometry for your practice. So let's start with our first topic point, line and line segment. First we will understand what is point. Point is the basic unit of geometry. A point shows an exact location. It has no dimensions. That means a point has no length, breadth or height. A point is represented by a dot and it is named with a capital letter. For example, this is point A, point B, and point X. So, how do we read this? As I just told you, we will read them as point A, point B and point X. And how do we write these points? We will write them as A, B and X. Let me tell you a real life example of a point. For example, Location of any address on map is a point. Next is line segment. A line segment is a straight path between two points. It is the shortest distance between two points. For example, there are two points DE. So, line segment is the straight path between these two points. Now, let me show you how to read and write line segment. We will read it as line segment DE or line segment ED. Both the ways are fine. Similarly, we can either write it as DE or ED with a small line segment on it. Also students do remember that a line segment has a definite length. Now let's see some real life examples of line segment. Edges of duster or edges of a ruler. They are line segment because they have a definite length. So students we have learned Two properties of line segment. First is line segment has two end points. Like here D and E are two end points of line segment DE. And the second property is that the line segment has definite length. Now let's learn about 
वॉट इज लाइन अ लाइन इज अ सेट ऑफ पॉइंट विच एक्सटेंड फॉर एवर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ लाइन द एरो ऑन इट्स बोथ साइड रिप्रेजेंट दैट अ लाइन गोज इन डेफिनेटली इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन so students it means a line has no fixed length now let me tell you how to read and write a line for this we need to take two points let's take g and h so we read a line as line gh or line hg both the ways are fine Similarly we can write it as gh or hg with a small line drawn on it So what properties have we learned about line let's revise First is a line has no end points like here in line gh there are no end points and second property is since line extends indefinitely in both the directions so line has no definite length now let's do some exercise here we need to identify line and line segment First take a look at figure A A is not a straight path so it is neither a line segment nor a line Now take a look at figure B It has two end points and has a definite length so it means it is a line segment Next look at the figure c it has two arrows so it means it is never ending therefore it is a line and the last figure again the last figure is not a straight path so it is neither a line segment nor a line so students now i hope you have understood the difference between line and line segments we also have separate videos on complete chapter of fractions for class b and then you can also learn about shapes and patterns for class 3 the links to both these videos are below in the description box now our next topic is way a ray is a part of the line that has a starting point and it goes on forever in one direction it means ray also has no fixed length it cannot be measured for example this is a ray it has a starting point called k and it goes indefinitely in one direction towards J Now let me show you how to read and write way We will read the starting point first So it will be read as way kj The students there is only one way to read way that is by reading the starting point first and now how to write it we will write it kj with a small v drawn over it now let's see some real life examples of v v is from sun and v is from flashlight these are examples of v because they have a starting point and they go indefinitely in one direction 
So what are properties of they? First is a ray has one end point. Like here, K is the end point of this ray. And second property is ray has no definite length because it can extend in one direction indefinitely. Now let's learn different types of lines. So first type of line is horizontal line or we can call it sleeping line. Like here, this pencil is lying flat on the ground or we can say that this pencil is lying horizontally. Similarly, a line drawn horizontally is called a horizontal line. Like here, this line AB is drawn horizontally and therefore it is a horizontal line. Now let's understand second type of line which is vertical line or we call it as standing line. Look at this flag mast. It is standing on the ground or we can say it is standing vertically on the ground. Similarly, a line which is drawn vertically is called a vertical line. Like here, CD is drawn vertically. So, it is a vertical line. So, students, do remember anything which is lying flat is said to be in a horizontal position, while anything standing straight upright is said to be in a vertical position. Now the third type of line is oblique or slanting line. A line which is neither horizontal nor vertical is called an oblique or a slanting line. Let's take an example. Look at this figure of a ladder on a vertical wall. It is in a slanting position. So, a line which is drawn in a slanting position is called an oblique line. Here, line EF is drawn in a slanting position. So, EF is an oblique line. Students, to understand time and calendar for class 3, you can refer to our separate video. The link to this video is below in the description box. Now, let's move to our next topic. Measuring line segment. Students, we measure the length of a line segment with the help of a ruler. Here, let's measure the length of this given line segment AB. For this, let's take a scale. And place it along the line AB such that 0 is at point A. Now, see where is point B. The reading of the scale of point B is 10. It means 
लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज टेन सेंटीमीटर सो दिस इज हाउ वी मेजर लेंथ ऑफ अ लाइन सेगमेंट नाउ लेट्स लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन सेगमेंट नाउ टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन सेगमेंट अगेन वी विल टेक हेल्प ऑफ अ रूलर क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ अ लाइन सेगमेंट पी क्यू ऑफ लेंथ ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर सो लेट्स टेक अ स्केल एंड फर्स्ट मार्क पॉइंट पी विच इज एट जीरो मार्क ऑफ द स्केल सो रिमेंबर फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ अ लाइन सेगमेंट इज ऑलवेज जीरो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर दिस मीन्स वी हैव टू मार्क सेकेंड पॉइंट क्यू एट ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर mark of the scale it is here as you can see the pointer 12 cm is here and lastly we will draw the line segment joining both these points to form line segment pq of length 12 cm so this is how we can draw a line segment of any length if you still not have subscribed to our channel learning notebook then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon now let's move to our next topic triangle quadrilateral rectangle square and circle first let's understand what is a triangle a figure formed by three line segments is called a triangle look at this figure it is formed by three line segments so it is a triangle we will call it as triangle abc next a triangle has three sides like here we have three sides ab bc and ca then a triangle has three vertices or we can call it three corners like here three vertices are a b and c another important point to note is that sides of a triangle may or may not be of equal length so students this was all about triangle next let's learn about quadrilateral a figure formed by four line segments is called a quadrilateral like here abcd is a quadrilateral because it is formed by four line segments next a quadrilateral has how many sides yes four sides look here ab bc cd and da 
these are four sides of this quadrilateral a b c d and then it has four vertices or four corners a b c and d and as we learned in triangle sides of a quadrilateral may or may not be of equal length now next shape is rectangle which is a quadrilateral by because rectangle is formed by four line segments and a rectangle has how many sides four sides so here in this rectangle abcd four sides are ab bc cd and da and it has how many vertices yes four vertices a b c and d but students important point here to notice is that opposite sides of a rectangle are always equal so in this rectangle ab equal to cd and bc equal to ad so this is all about rectangle now let's see the next quadrilateral which is square a square also has four sides but all of them are of equal length so similar to rectangle a square also has four sides and four vertices but the important property of square is that all sides of a square are equal so in this square ab equal to bc which is equal to cd and which is equal to da so it means all sides of a square are always equal now the last one is circle students this is a circle a circle has no sides and no vertices so this was all about plane shapes now let's do an exercise question is which shape do the following have the wheel of a bicycle is of which shape yes circle next can you tell me what is the shape of a page of the book yes it is rectangle next a pizza slice a pizza slice is of triangle shape and the last is the face of a dice it is of square shape let's see the next question count the number of triangles in the following figure here we are given with a figure and we have to count the number of triangles so let's first count the small 
triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six small triangles. Now look carefully. We also have big triangles. One is this and another one is this. So six plus two big triangles equal to eight. So this figure has eight triangles. Now in the next question, we have to count number of rectangles. So let's start with counting small rectangles. One, two, three. So let's write three. Now let's combine two of these small rectangles to form a big rectangle. So how many such rectangles are there? One is this and next one is this. So there are two such rectangles. So let's write two. Now we can also form a big rectangle by combining all these three rectangles. This is the big rectangle which is only one. So let's write one. So here total number of rectangles are six. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now let's move to our next topic, Solid Shapes. First let's understand what are solids. When we kick a ball, it goes up in the air and it moves in the space. So this ball is called a solid because any object that occupies space is called a solid. Now all solids have a surface and a surface can be a plane surface or a curved surface. Now look at these books. These books have plane surface or we can say flat surface. Similarly, look at the top of this desk. It also has plane surface. Now students, look at this football, globe and an egg. All these have curved surfaces. But some shapes have both curved surface as well as a plane surface. For example, if we look at this log of wood, it has two plane surfaces and one curved surface. Now let's learn about solid shapes. These are cube, cuboid, sphere, cylinder and the last solid shape is 
कौन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज सॉलिड शेप्स बेटर लेट्स टेक फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ देम Examples of cube are a carton box and a dice. You must be using dice in your games. This is the best example to remember cube. Now, examples of cuboid are a book and a match box take your maths book it is a very good example to remember cuboid shape next let's see examples of sphere a football and a woolen ball students whenever you kick a football remember you are kicking a sphere shape now examples of cylinder are a pencil and a candle so whenever you use a pencil remember it is of cylinder shape and lastly examples of cone are a birthday cap and an ice cream cone So whenever you are enjoying your favorite ice cream cone remember it is a cone shape Now let's understand face edge and corner of a solid shape First let's understand face The surface of a solid shape is called face As we learned before faces are of two types plain face and curved face like in a cube surface of a cube is a plain face as shown here and in case of cylinder the bottom surface is a plain face whereas the curved surface of the cylinder is an example of curved face so this is the difference between plain face and curved face next let's see what is an edge two faces meet at an edge edges are also of two types straight edge and curved edge in case of a cube we only have straight edge as highlighted here while in case of cylinder we only have curved edge as shown here now what is a corner three edges meet at a corner therefore as you can see in this cube three edges are meeting at a corner so this was about face edge and corner of a solid shape now let's take each solid shape one by one and learn about number of faces edges and corners first solid shape is cube a cube has six plane faces students you can easily remember number of plane faces of a cube with the help of a dice a dice has numbers up to 
because it has six plane faces. Now curved face, a cube has zero curved face. Next, edges, straight edges, a cube has 12 straight edges. Four on the front face, four on the back face, two on the top face and two on the bottom face. Now curved edges, a cube has zero curved edge. And lastly, corners. A cube has eight corners as highlighted here. Now the next solid shape is cuboid. Similar to cube, a cuboid has six plane faces and zero curved face. Straight edges, a cuboid has 12 straight edges, 4 on the front face, 4 on the back face, 2 on the top face and 2 on the bottom face. And cuboid has zero curved edges. And lastly, corners. A cuboid has eight corners as shown here. So students, did you notice cube and cuboid have same number of faces, edges and corners. Now next is sphere. As you can see, a sphere has no plane face, but it has one curved face. Next, a sphere has no straight and curved edges. And lastly, a sphere has no corners. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Let's see the next solid shape, which is cylinder. A cylinder has two plane faces, one at the top and one at the bottom and it has one curved face as shown here. Now edges, a cylinder has no straight edge but it has two curved edges, one at the top and other at the bottom. And lastly, corners. A cylinder has no corners. Now let's see the last solid shape, which is cone. A cone has one plane face at the bottom. And it also has one curved face as shown here. Next, edges. A cone has no straight edge, but it has one curved edge. And lastly, a cone has one corner as highlighted here. So students, this was all about 
faces, edges and corners of solid shapes. Students, we also have a complete chapter of money for class 3. Do watch this separate video to understand all the concepts of money. The link to this video is below in the description box. So this is the synopsis of what we learnt about faces, edges and corners of 5 solid shapes. Students, it would be really great if you make this table on your own. Then you would be able to remember the number of faces, the number of edges and corners for each solid shape. Now let's do a small exercise. Question is, identify the shape of the following objects. First is funnel. Can you tell me the shape of a funnel? Yes, it is of cone shape. Next, battery cell. It is of cylinder shape. Next, watermelon. It's quite easy. Watermelon is of spare shape. Then we have pencil box. What is the shape of pencil box? Yes, cuboid. And then we have dice. And dice is of cube shape. Now in the end, I am giving you a worksheet for your practice. This worksheet contains questions from all the sections of the chapter which I have just taught you. If you have skipped any of the section, I will suggest you to first understand that section and then attempt this worksheet. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.